it's Natalie from Feasting on Fruit, and today we are making pie. Banana slice not split pie. The flavor is inspired by a banana split, but with the banana sliced and layered into a pie crust instead. And did I mention it happens to be a Rice Krispie crust? Krispie crust! So I have two cups of Rice Krispies, brown Rice Krispies. Um, I'm gonna need about three tablespoons of coconut nectar for the crust, plus two for the chocolate sauce. So this is a total of five tablespoons. A bunch of bananas. I ended up using about four of them. And two tablespoons of cacao powder for the sauce. You're gonna start by heating up the coconut nectar until it boils and bubbles. It'll, it happens pretty fast. I microwaved mine for about 30 seconds on high. You could do it on the stove as well, but watch it because it boils up pretty quick. If you are doing it in the microwave, I suggest using a tall glass so that it doesn't boil over. Not that I know that from experience. Anyways, you're going to mix your warm coconut nectar into your Rice Krispies. And then I put a little bit of coconut oil on these pie pans. You could also line them with wax paper. And just divide the mixture into the two pie pans. I'm using two mini pans. They're about five inches in diameter. You could also just use one big pan. It sticks to your hands quite a bit, so I suggest using a piece of wax paper on top to press it down without it all coming back off on your fingers. And then just pop these little crusts in the freezer while we get to the banana slicing portion of this pie making experience. Now that we're done with that very complicated step, let's make the chocolate sauce. I have two tablespoons of cacao powder, or you could use cocoa powder as well, and two tablespoons of coconut nectar. Even after all this whisking, it was still too thick, so I added one tablespoon of water and I got the perfect sauce consistency. Now that our crusts are chilled and crunchy, let's layer in the banana! On to pie number two. And now my favorite part, which is topping them and making them look pretty. I sprinkled on some chopped almonds. You can use anything crunchy and sprinkleable. Drizzled on some of that chocolate sauce. And of course, a cherry on top. These banana slice not split pies are best eaten immediately. The full written recipe can be found at feastingonfruit.com along with lots of other similarly snackable treats. Be sure and find me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter to see what yummy things I'm up to and subscribe here on YouTube for more recipe videos. Thank you for watching.